Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Beef Sports Report. Without you guys, it doesn't work without you guys. Hold on a second here. We have some news on our Dallas Cowboys, and I just got back whew, for a two and a half mile walk and 95 degree temperatures. I'll tell you what's kind of funny. Haters gonna hate. Yesterday, all my troubles see so far away. Yesterday I was actually out here and I did a video, I turned it on um, just a, about two hours or so ago. And it was me cooking my dinner yesterday and what I cooked was salmon because my wife loves salmon, she's doing new. And I cooked uh, some small steaks. I made a steak salad for dinner, which is really, really good. And I was giving people tips on eating at home because you can actually eat better and healthier at home, a lot less chemicals and things like that, and definitely save a lot of money and actually eat better. And it's amazing how people always have, you know, haters gonna hate. Somebody said, you're obese. Well, I tell you what. Tell you what, every day, every day since the 21st of June, I have done 10,000 steps or more walking every day. In fact, for this month, I'm closing in on 400,000 steps for the month. Let me say it again 400,000 steps. And FYI, 10,000 steps are about five miles every day. Do I have a few extra pounds? Sure. But I tell you what, I bet you I can walk, buddy who called me obese, I bet you I can walk your ass in the ground. Yeah, bet you I can. In fact, I'll challenge you, even with my bad knees. But anyway, the NFL is trying to get their uh, season on. We already know Kansas City had a, when they're starting offensive guards, has decided to sit the season out. And now, we know that a Dallas Cowboy player is sitting out the season as well. He's opting out. Maurice Candy. And I know what you're thinking right now. Who? Who? Maurice Candy. Maurice was a free agent signing that we had who played with the Jets last year and the Ravens. Played in 13 games, started three. And we brought him in on a free agent contract, kick the tires, and have some more depth. And he has decided, you know what? This year it's not worth it. I can't say I blame anybody. Now, here's the interesting part about this. We actually have a uh, herb chicken with like a mojo seasoning on it, and then I got some jerk chicken breast. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to slice it up and I'm going to put it on a salad. Yeah, that's right. I know you, you, you eat too many. Yeah, you got too many carbs, somebody said. You know what? Go pound sand. For a man that's 54 years old with a bad back, two bad knees and everything else, you know what? I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad with it. So I look at some of the people that I went to school with, well, some of them aren't here anymore. The bad thing for people who opt out this year, technically, you could end up having a bill next year. Basically, this is an advance on future earnings. If the team, if the Cowboys who signs you as a free agent, if they decide, you know what, we don't need you. We, we never had you here. We don't want you at this point. He could turn around and owe the Cowboys the money that he gets paid this year if he takes money from them. So that's the danger, of course, for the players if you decide to opt out you might want to make sure that you're going to have a job next year or you're going to owe money. 
And this is, you know, it sucks because there's a lot of guys who aren't going to get opportunities that would at least have an opportunity. You know, I, and I know the, the, the guy from, you know, 80 to 90, chances are they probably weren't going to make a team anyway. But there's some out there who just need an opportunity, just need a chance to actually try and be seen and turn around and make a roster. So this is going to hurt a lot of people with this coronavirus. I mean, it's already hurting a lot of people. There's a lot of jobs that are going to disappear and won't come back because of COVID. And we have to start looking and figuring out what is the new thing. And that's the thing I was just having a conversation with my wife, that as we come through this, there are things that are going to change. You know, a lot of companies who have had people working from home may decide, it's cheaper for me to have you working at your house, you paying for your AC, you paying for your toilet tissue, you paying for your cell phone, you paying for your print paper, as opposed to me paying it. And a lot of people may work at home. And of course, that has a ripple effect. So if less people are on the highway commuting to work, maybe some of the highways don't need to be rebuilt as big. Or a lot of those buildings that have a lot of occupancy, you know, space for a company, might only need half as much. So things are going to change and evolve, and you have to look at things differently, how they're going to be. And if you're an NFL player, this may change quite a few things in the going forward. It definitely will for some of those guys that were definitely, you know, close to maybe making a roster that now won't have an opportunity. And I hope, I hope that guy that said I'm obese, I hope you're cut up, buddy. I hope you're in great shape and stuff like that. Because, you know, as they say, those who live in glass houses shouldn't be the one to cast the first stone. Boy, that tastes good. Um, we're going to be kicking off probably, I'm going to try to, it's five minutes to seven. I gotta take a shower, get the sweat and stuff off me, and get the uh, downstairs fired up. But I think we're gonna start our live stream early because it's gonna be a long one tonight. And I think we're gonna be talking uh, about the NFL 100 uh, as a celebration that tomorrow veterans will be reporting for the COVID test and training camps will be open throughout the NFL. Let's just hope they stay open. Ah, oh, boy. I'm Mark Holmes. I'm about to get my eat on. A nice jerk chicken salad is going to be good. It's going to be real good. Could it be any hotter out here? Take a peek. Get some feta cheese on that salad and some pickle beets. Ooh, wait. Yeah, buddy. Did I still leave you guys on? Are you guys still there? Oh, I'll see you in about an hour down at Joe Boo's live stream. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'm going to go get something to eat. 
I'll see you guys later.